Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of video number six um, of our day six uh, COVID-19 UK lockdown. So this is part of the, the video that you saw um, in video number part one, number six part one, and I did a sneak preview of the little finger, the nail art on the little finger. So I don't know about any of you, but if you look at my hands in this video, you can see just what overwashing them is doing. And I do apply moisturizer. Um, I'm using the um, OPI's Coconut Melon uh, Moisturizer, which I absolutely love and it leaves your hands non-greasy. But even moisturizing after every time I wash my hands, my hands are still so dry. So I'm just doing a really simple nail art design with my white nail art gel. Um, so semicircles and a few little brush strokes and I'm trying to do it slightly different on each nail. So I will let you swatch this and then I'll come back when we start to add the glitter.
So this glitter is from Glitter Planet and it's called Frank. Um, I like to mix it with my top coat and apply it to the nail that way because when the glitter is cured with the top coat, it means that I can buff over it and um, create a smooth surface for me to go in then with my final top coat on my nails. I forgot to mention that when you order your glitters um, from Glitter Planet, they usually come in little um, zip seal bags. So I ordered these little um, sample tubs just off eBay and I decant all my glitters into them and then I peel the sticker off with the Glitter, um, glitter Planet nail and stick it to the little jar. So I have cured the glitter with the top coat and I've given them a buff over. That's why you can see that it looks a bit sort of cloudy. Um, I just, it'll give me a smoother surface whenever I go to do my top coat. So when I'm doing my flowers, I'm using um, Salmon Pink from Glitter Bells and I'm using Snowdrops White just to give a little hint of, of pink along with the, with the white on the petals. So you need to pick up um, quite small beads whenever you're doing petals and have your brush really really dry, get all the liquid out of your brush and just press down with the belly of your brush just to smooth that acrylic out. So you can see that I tend to leave the bead sitting on the nail for a couple of seconds. Um, that is, I want the polymerization, that's such a big word, I was able to get it out um, to start, which is the curing process um, in the acrylic, because I don't want the acrylic to start to spread around the nail whenever I'm trying to form the petal, I want it to try and hold its shape. So by draining all the liquid out of my brush and letting the bead sit there for a couple of seconds starts that process. I sounded well smart in that last one. Um, I have a habit sometimes of not getting my words out or even making up my own words. Uh, one of my favourite words that I made up, I didn't even realise I'd said it until my husband said to me. I was trying to explain that when you're satisfied satisfied with something, um, and what I said to him, oh, do you know when you, you get really, really good satisfaction? So that is my new word, satisfaction, and I use it all the time. So I, whenever I was trying, whenever I said this word, um, I think I was trying to say a word sort of mixing satisfaction and satisfied together and came up with satisfaction. And my husband was like, what are you saying? It's satisfaction. I'm like, well, I like my, I like mine better. I like satisfaction. So I always use satisfaction.
So this next part of the video, um, I have speeded it up. Is that right? Speeded it up? Sped it up? Anyway, I've made it go faster. Um, because it's not like we can leave the house or anything. You know, we're on lockdown, so I don't know about you, but I just sit and drink cups of tea and watch YouTube all day. I am trying though, every time that I have a cup of tea, not to have a biscuit. And um, I'm not very good at trying things like that because food is really my, my downfall. I love my food, especially my fig rolls. Oh, I absolutely love fig roll biscuits and Chelsea Whoppers. Who remembers Chelsea Whoppers from, we were, from when we were a child? Oh, I love them. And I actually found a store very, very close to me that sells them. And I think they know I have an addiction of Chelsea Whoppers because I buy about five packets at, at a time. So yeah, um, I do think I have an addiction of them. That and flying saucers. Oh, I love flying saucers. I love the, um, I eat around the end of them and then uh, my tongue, I, I stick all the fizz to my tongue and then I eat the rice paper. Best part, love them. So I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video in peace and I'm going to make a cup of tea and I will be back.
I love my little LED light. It just holds everything in place until I do the full cure. Um, so here's the finished set. I hope you like them. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Um, I have loved doing this set because it was just, it had everything. It had glitter, it had fringe, it had flowers, it had bling. So I hope you like it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not? And you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.